everyone, I'm finally back with um, my transmitter. I've been working since Christmas just designing and getting all the stuff ready to go. I mean, you know, getting these schematics working, these coil designs ready to go and everything. And this is just a first run test of the whole unit. I haven't there's probably going to be a few bugs, and I, I know there's going to be a few bugs just from while I was building it, but uh, let me go through the rundown of what it is. Um, this is essentially just a uh, basic um, LC transmitter, it's, you know, using LC tank and then several filters and an audio amp and um, voltage regulator and all that fun stuff, but I'll go ahead and just give you the basics. Um, if I can... There we go. Okay, so if you're just looking here, down here we have the voltage reg. It's um, that little black thing right there with the pencil, where I'm pointing with the pencil. That's the actual 5 volt regulator, and all these caps around it are just filter caps, and uh, we have the actual switch hookup right there, and on the outside, if I can, yeah. Outside on this red LED right here, that's the actual power indicator LED. And we just have that. This is the generalized power board, and uh, we have little hookups down here next to the screws for multimeter readings to make sure the voltage is steady and all that. Um, and we have the power coming in through one of two ways. We have it coming in through a 9-volt hookup with a battery holder down there, or we have it coming in from a wall jack from a... Uh, plus 10 volt source up to about 35 volts because the regulator can only handle maximum of 35 volts and um, all this um, since these the battery and the uh, wall outlet are on the same so, um, same line they're pretty much verse uh, protected by a pair of diodes so they don't get crisscrossed and they don't flip backwards and all that so on the side we have the uh, actual switch, you know, power LED, all that. And I'll get to this LED in a second. All right, so after that, we have the power coming in down here through this red and white um, jumper to this jack, and it goes to the main board. And the main board, I'm sorry if you can't see it all, but it consists down here with a uh, preamp, and that preamp comes from, uh, takes its input all the way up here from this actual just, um, audio input daughter board and it's got a potentiometer up there for a uh, balance and um, it's just got a 3.5 millimeter jack in there for audio so this one's for um, like aux in from like an iPod this one over here is from an actual microphone because it's got a actual resistor in there for biasing so pretty much they're all on the same leads and they just go down there and they receive their power from the main board and green wire right here goes directly into the audio um, preamp and so then from that preamp as I show on the schematic from that preamp coming all the way from the audio input it goes to this emitter follower for impedance matching well you know for load balancing so it doesn't get overloaded and strain the amp so this transistor up here this metal can is the emitter follower followed by a couple of resistors in there somewhere and then that is taken directly to the LC oscillator. And that is consists of, let's see if I can get a good shot, this trans, transistor right here. And there's a couple of resistors down there. And if you can see right where that pencil is pointing, yes, no, that coil back there, that coil is the uh, main oscillation coil. And there's a little... Uh, variable right where the pencil is pointing right that variable cap for a tuning I know it's not in the most convenient location but I would just unscrew the daughter board and pop that out and then tune it but um, pretty much from there yeah it goes to the FM modulator and oscillator and it takes that output and it takes it all the way to the uh, final filter final amp and antenna matcher circuit um, which is pretty much just the rest of the board down here, if I can get the antenna out of the way. And it consists of several transistors, and actually two. This one right here, this black one, that is for actual um, 
uh, let me think what I'm trying to say. This is an actual RF amp. So this is just the final RF amp, and it, there's a um, coil back there for load uh, purposes. And there's a coil right here. So that coil back there and this coil right here. And this coil right here is for the uh, filter. There's a cap, a bunch of caps right here, a bunch of caps over here, followed by a variable cap. And this is essentially a pie filter, so it'll remove out any harmonics. So we only get one transmission going out. And then that's followed by um, one more transistor down there. And that's for the actual indicator, which is what this yellow LED is for. It lights up whenever the antenna is actually matched to, like the actual filter is matched to the uh, oscillation and or the oscillator in the actual antenna. So we pretty much have the antenna itself, and there's a little jumper down there in case you wanted to um, run another run a, another antenna off these um, screw type uh, terminals. I'm going to drill a hole in the side so you can get access to them. So you would actually like screw in a um, 300 ohm dipole. That's what I have it set up for is a 300 ohm dipole. So you could get better transmission out of this besides this regular um, aerial, this telescoping aerial. And so that just fits in there snugly and the um, little rubber grommets um, insulate the actual antenna from the actual housing because the housing's grounded. So I had to make some sort of stabilizer so I just, you know, built this assembly and holds it in place and it's held up from the top with the actual cover itself. So I screw that down there and the uh, rubber grommets keep it insulated from making any contact. And so um, let's go ahead and just get running, get this thing running. So I'm just going to run it off my iPod with la 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 la. Plug it into the audio input and then take the actual DC power jack. I'm not going to fool with a battery right now. That's strange. Oh. So, okay, now we have it plugged in and everything. Let's turn it on. All right, if you can barely see that, there's the indicator LED going on. All right, now let's turn on the radio. I know it's, all right, I tried this earlier, so it's kind of un, it's kind of tuned, but whatever. Maybe it changes, I'm not sure. Let's try to get this tuned. There we go. Oh, hold on a second. There we go. Still a lot of noise, but... I'll get to the actual bugs of why it's not as powerful. touching the case, doesn't ground it. Now, of course, if I touch the antenna, oh my god. Well, it still grounds the antenna, but the anten it's still pretty dang powerful, okay? Now, I'm going to show you something. Alright, yeah, I, I just touched the metal part, so. But that yellow LED, it's not lighting up. And I'll tell you the reason behind that, if you just put on the metal casing, So see, it pretty much grounds it out entirely. And the reason behind that is that, um, here's my hunch on it. And it's still getting transmission out, but, you know, it's kind of weak. Not as much as when you actually have the case off. So, pretty much, if you look here, the filter, I believe the filter's actually shot somewhat. Because I used a, um, possibly really badly used, uh, um, variable cap on there so it's not I'm not able to tune it well and this is actually not on FM right now this is in the um, TV band so I'm um, still needing to fix that up as well but 
Okay, so yeah, pretty much um, the camera battery died, so I replaced it, but um, yeah, pretty much whenever I just put the cap on there, the cover, it just grounds it out because I think the signal is just coming directly from the local oscillator and going out, and um, it's not going through the actual filter and RF amp. So I think the RF amp, or not the RF amp, but the actual filter itself is shot. So I'm going to have to fix that as well as the um, tuning, I think. Because I think the tuning shot as well, but... So... Yeah. Pretty much, um, that's really all I have to do now is just fix out the filter, um, and get all that straightened up, and then I just need to paint it, um, label it, and do a couple more bug, bug testing, and it's good to go. Uh, thank you all for watching, I'll just, if you have any comments, just post them down there, and, um, I'll see about getting the schematic up, but we'll see how it goes. So I hope you all like the video, and I'll see you all later.